What's up, you guys? Hello, hello. Hello. We have a grocery haul plan today that we're super excited for. Yeah. But we are super excited about something else before we head out. What are we excited about? Okay, this is like kind of crazy, but also kind of awesome. Actually, really awesome, but kind of crazy. Is <laughs> these watches. They're called Pavlock, spelled P-A-V-L-O-K. Mm-hmm. And what they do essentially is you use them to break bad habits, you use them to create better habits, and you can also use it to like wake up in the morning and stuff. And what it does is it has a vibration, a chime, and like a shock. Like feature. a little tiny shock. It's super cool though because Haley and I are both are not morning people at all. Mm -mm. So we have a hard time getting up in the morning. I'm a and heavy sleeper too. Yeah. So what this does is when you set it up in the app, the yes, that's the app. When you pair the phone with the watch, it can track your sleep and then you can set alarms and stuff. And there's different settings for the sleep. So like if you press snooze, then it'll give you a little zap. Or maybe it'll have you do jumping jacks or it'll have you do just different stuff. But also it will track your sleep and wake you up. Hi, Juno wake you up at like kind of just the perfect time for sleeping the lightest so that like you don't wake up in like a deep sleep like super groggy kind of confused yeah so it might not wake you up right at seven it might do a little bit before like closest to seven when you're in your lightest sleep so that you wake up like feeling the best and that's that's huge yeah and i have a setting turned on where it's gonna go off and it's not gonna turn off until i'm out of bed and i do jumping jacks yeah like super cool yeah and it's just gonna keep going until i do jumping jacks and that's perfect because literally when i wake up you can ask brayden like i set my alarms early on purpose so i have time to hit snooze and just lay in bed and then i just waste so much time in there if i could just get up and just do my dang jumping jacks mm -hmm. like that would be <laughs> awesome yeah and the shock isn't crazy i mean you're able to set your setting and kind of test to like see like where you where it works for you and it's like a little like static shock. Yeah, it's just like a little teeny. I have it set to like 20%. Yeah, I have it. Because I'm weak <laughs> with that. I have it at 30% and it's just little tiny little like, like thing. Little but like, it's definitely something that like, it's supposed to wake you up and keep you awake. Mm -hmm. And it also like when I do, I have a really bad habit of biting my nails. So what happens is if I start biting my nails, then I need to press the button on the watch. So that gives me a little shock so that my brain associates me biting my f fingernails with the shock. So it's kind of like training my brain, training me to like break a habit. habit. Yeah. Yeah. So it's super cool. We are going to leave a link to their website down below. Again, it's called Pavlock Watches. Super cool. I'm if you have really a hard excited. time getting up in the morning, you're not a morning person, you're going to want this. It's yeah. freaking sweet. Trust so, me. Look how stylish that is. So there's that design, and then Haley has the, the purple watch. We said, go check them out. They're awesome. I needed something other than just like a blaring alarm, just scaring me awake. And so this is way better. So absolutely go and check them out right now. Yeah, and they're super comfortable to sleep with. They're yep. lightweight. They, they're not bulky. You ready for some shopping? Heck yeah, baby. We're on our way to Winco. For our first time ever. Yes, because a lot of you guys have recommended it. A lot of family has recommended it, saying it's the go because it's even cheaper than Walmart, apparently. Yeah, and we'll take that because we shop at Walmart. We love cheap, so yeah. even cheaper than that would be amazing. Yeah, so we're heading to Winco. We're gonna do a pretty good sized grocery haul, hopefully. Got I actually the list. remembered my list this time. We got the list, and then we'll probably get a few things off the list as we see them and such but yeah it should be good yeah i'm excited because i feel like we have like no lunch foods we don't have a bunch for dinner anymore like our last grocery haul we did it was kind of stocking up on like little things but not necessarily like for meals yeah so this time we need more meal stuff some like actual meats and fillers and produce i love produce so this one will be a little bit more than our last couple ones which will be good and then the wind is so freaking windy today for no reason well it wasn't even windy earlier yeah 
Like before we left. Yeah. Like we drove like not that far, and it's just windy. Look out! These scenes are my childhood. These. I've never tried it. You've never had them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're getting one. <laughs> It's our biggest one yet? Yeah. Oh, apple juice. Where? Right to it. But we got. Oh, yeah. Okay, dang. <laughs> like, we had a cart full of food. And we got things that I feel like we've just been not getting lately just for the sake of, like, saving money and stuff. Because we, you know, we're trying to be good. I'm not trying to, like, splurge too much on too many things. But this time I feel like we actually allowed ourselves to get some stuff we wanted that like we haven't lately which was good and i was looking at the cart full and i was like okay this looks like maybe like 200 dollars, but it looks since it's winco it looks like it's going to be cheaper than 200 dollars. so my guess was 150 and brandon was like worried he thought it was going to be more and it came out to like 158 for a cart full of food and like we'll be good for a while because I feel like a lot of things we haven't been buying is like snacks and like lunch foods. We've mostly just been doing like meal staples and we still got some of those, but we also got some snacks this time. I think it was good. I call that a success. So when we get home, I'll show you everything we got. Okay, so a lot of the things we got were generic brand, which in my opinion, I think is totally fine. I'm a firm believer that generic can be just as good as like the regular stuff in like 99% of the cases or 99% of the time. So anyways, we're gonna start with our bread. We've got our nice generic bread that costs like a dollar something because do I know that it's not the same quality as like $4 bread? Yes. Is it still good? Yes. So generic. I also finally got my rice cakes. I've been craving these. Um, something I kind of learned from Brayden's mom is putting yogurt on top of rice cakes. It's so good, but I also love like peanut butter, honey, bananas, or even jelly. I just love putting things on rice cakes. These are so good. So finally got those. We're at Costco yesterday. We got bagels and with bagels, obviously you need cream cheese. Brayden loves the strawberry kind. I don't. I really got to be in the mood for it. So we also got me regular cream cheese. So we have both because again, they're like a dollar something. Everything I feel like was pretty much like a dollar. Not everything, but you know, everything is so much cheaper here. It blew my mind. These are apparently like Brayden's childhood. These like fruit wraps, fruit rolls. I've never actually had them, but he loved them. So we got one so I can try it. Sauces, we got fry sauce. We have one already, but it's like almost out. So we had to get another one. And then also like orange chicken sauce from Panda because I wanna make air fryer orange chicken. So I got those as well. We've got two pounds of ground beef so we can make hamburgers, taco meat, you know, all sorts of good things. I might try this other like Korean beef recipe that my mom used to make all the time. We definitely needed beef. We were gonna get like a five pound bag at Costco but it was like 20 something dollars and we were just like, ah! So we're just gonna buy it as we need it because we don't have a gigantic freezer. <laughs> Canned goods. We got canned pumpkin because my sweet Juno has tummy issues. She's just like her mama. Pumpkin is really good for dogs if they've got an upset stomach, if they've got troubles going to the bathroom, if they get like nauseous or whatever. And we got canned tuna so I can make tuna melts, which are so good for no reason. And then we also got two cans of this because this is my childhood is the Chef Boyardee like mini ravioli. They're so good. I used to love these things. So I had to get two of those so Brayden and I can have that sometime. Then I also got two more cans of black beans. I feel like black beans is something I'm just gonna buy every time we go to the grocery store because we do eat it a lot. But again, we don't have room in our pantry for like a crap ton to buy like a big Costco thing of it. So. We just buy what we need as we need it. So this is kind of one of our staples. We're just gonna get like every time we go. Also got two cans of this New England style clam chowder, which is 
so good. I needed to get just some distilled vinegar for cleaning purposes. I realized like I haven't cleaned my garbage disposal since we've lived here and it's been kind of smelly lately and I'm just trying to remove any odors that I possibly can from the house. So I needed this for the garbage disposal and for other cleaning because it's really good for that. And then I also needed canola oil for cooking, baking, if I ever decide to like actually fry things, but since I have an air fryer, I don't really feel the need to. Also, can some people comment down below, let me know. I was in there and I was like, I can't remember for the life of me the difference between canola oil and vegetable oil. And I was like, which one's better, which one's worse, which one's good for you, which one's like worse for you. Obviously they're not like, either of them are super good for you. Got treetop cinnamon applesauce. This stuff I have lived off of at times when I'm like not feeling well. I just eat so much applesauce. So I needed to get myself some for days when I'm sick or not feeling well if I just gotta get something in my stomach. This is it. The thing of almond milk because we don't really have milk actually in this household that often anymore. So we just need more almond milk because we go through it pretty quick. And then for Brayden also, let us not be surprised. He loves bees, especially in the pineapple flavor. So we obviously had to get two of these for next time. Can we make some food? We come back here. We got oatmeal cream pies, which we have already helped ourselves to. These are Brayden's other favorites. And sometimes I love them. Sometimes they make me kind of nauseous because they're really sugary, but we had to get them, of course. This blew our minds. This was like two or three bucks. For a box of pizza, you cannot beat this. And Brayden loves frozen pizza. So I'm like, okay, easy. So we got two, oops. We got two of these frozen pizzas and I hope they're good because if so, we're buying a crap ton more. Cause heck yeah, two or three dollars for frozen pizza, done deal in this house. We got ourselves some potatoes, some big mashed potatoes which honestly are super good. <laughs> if we're being real, I actually really like baked potatoes. I love real potatoes, but even these can be good, which is good to just go as a side for a meal when I make like some sort of chicken dish or something, if I need a side. Potatoes! We got two things of paper towels. Okay. Recently, I've been buying my paper towels at the dollar store, because hello, a dollar, hard to beat. I'm like, wow, apparently you can beat the dollar store. It's Winco. It's like amazing. So we needed more paper towels. And back here, we got ourselves some waffle fries because why not? I think sometime I'm going to make like homemade Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches. I have some waffle fries. So I'm excited about these as well. I love potatoes, any form of them. All forms of them are just beautiful and I love them. So, heck yeah. Got baked cheddar and sour cream. One of these ruffles, yeah, ruffles. And then baked hot Cheetos. Brayden hates Cheetos. He's not a huge fan of hot Cheetos, but baked hot Cheetos, he loves. And I'm just not a huge fan of hot Cheetos in general. I don't love the flavor of them. So these are for me and these are for him just because we needed more lunch foods. If I'm gonna make a sandwich, you know, you gotta have chips with it. And this is something we've kind of like skipped out of because chips are overpriced for no reason, but we got some because we needed it. Another big surprise is we got pizza rolls, which were significantly less than other grocery stores. Like this just, this place kept blowing my mind over and over and over again. But we got pizza rolls, but we only got a small bag because again, our freezer is not that big and I'm already stressing about how I'm going to fit everything in there right now. So it's okay. I'm going to make it work. This is not the healthiest grocery haul on our behalf, but a lot of it was just snacks and lunch foods, which aren't that healthy unless you're like really, really healthy. And so like I have like salad stuff and all that, but we needed like lunch foods that are easy and convenient because we are busy. And so that's okay. When you're young and broke and busy, you can buy junk food. And you can buy junk food whenever you want. Go ahead. I think it's awesome. But for right now, just don't judge us. We bought junk food. So we've got our mint 
flavored Oreos. Super yummy. And Brandon saw these and he was like, yes. We got ourselves ramen, which I know, so healthy. But it's convenient, it's easy, especially when you're just young and broke, trying to make it in the world. I think it's perfect. So we got ourselves some beef and chicken ramen. So got crock pot liners because I have heard that these things are just beautiful and helping you not have to do dishes, especially washing a giant crock pot. So I needed those. I got goldfish, which I again already helped myself to on the drive home because I didn't eat lunch today. So this was my lunch on the way home and it's fine, it happens. We got toilet paper and this thing should last us forever because it's just the two of us and we don't go through toilet paper that fast, but we were like, might as well get it. And again, $10? For this much toilet paper i this might blow some people's mind who like used to see things a lot cheaper than they are now but for me who has never had to buy toilet paper until the last six months of my life i'm like wow this is so much cheaper we got a big thing of apple juice because my boy goes through apple juice really fast and so do i so we actually got like a big one this time instead of like one that's like half the size so hopefully that'll last us like five minutes and then we got some romaine hearts because I, I'm just gonna pre-cut all of this and put it in a Tupperware so we can just have like it just ready to go. So we can have like salads and stuff. I love salad. I'm trying to teach Brayden how to like salad. So I'm gonna use this and try to do that. The last time I bought a Costco pack and it went bad way too fast, like way before I could eat it all. So I needed to get a smaller one. Here we got corn dabs which hopefully we have room in the freezer for. Um, but again, just more lunch foods, easy, convenient, quick. And then I got this bad boy, which actually Brayden got it, but he was not a fan. He didn't like the aftertaste. He said it tasted like bean boozled, like jelly bean challenge, and he couldn't put his finger on exactly what it is, but he thought the aftertaste tasted like buttered popcorn. And we were trying to figure out what flavor this was. My guess is like some sort of coconut and maybe something else. But I was thinking the aftertaste is just very coconut-y. So I don't know what Brayden was necessarily tasting, but I don't know. Does anybody know what flavor this actually is? We got Raisin Bran because I am a grandma and I actually like Raisin Bran, but hear me out, okay? I've got digestive issues. I've got stomach problems. I've had them since forever and a half ago. What I have found that helps me the most is literally bran, chia seeds, and aloe vera juice. <sighs> We're almost done. We're getting there. But this is like our biggest one yet by far. And honestly, it was not that much more expensive than like previous ones. So I think that's awesome. So next we got like wheat thins, generic. Um, Brayden loves wheat thins. So we got those, it's a good little, snack to have. We can make homemade Lunchables and stuff. And then we got frozen taquitos because I love taquitos. And it's just another lunch that's just really easy, really convenient. And then for breakfast foods, we got frosted toaster pastries, not Pop-Tarts, because generic is like half as much and it'll taste pretty much the same. So we've got our frosted fudge, frosted s'mores, and frosted cookies and cream Pop-Tarts for breakfast. Super healthy. And then I also got baking soda because again, I need it for baking, for cleaning, for just the fridge in general, keep everything smelling good. Um, I wanted to just put like baking soda and vinegar in the garbage disposal, which is what I've heard like really actually cleans it. It's just a good odor absorber, which we need when we live in a teeny place and we have a dog, which we know that's what happens when you have a dog. So we just take care of it. And then we got these little pizza crusts and there's three of them in here. So what we kind of decided is we would both have a pizza and then we'd make like a dessert one with like marshmallow fluff and chocolate syrup and like Oreos on top. Mm. So we got our pizza crust. That's going to be dinner probably sometime this week because we love pizza. Then we got turkey meat just for sandwiches and stuff for lunch. Super easy. And then we got tortillas just because we are pretty much out of those because we go through those quickly. We love burritos and quesadillas and stuff in this house because again, quick, easy. We love it. We got string cheese 
which is one of my favorite snacks, even though dairy kind of upsets my stomach a little bit. Um, I still like it. Last things. We are almost done. You guys have made it so far with me. This was not on our list, but we needed it because we love cookies. We love making them. So we got ourselves some cookie dough. Got three avocados. So we can make like avocado toast or guacamole or just put it like on our omelets, on anything. I love avocado. Like I could just straight up eat that stuff. And then it was really cool because Winco has like stuff that you can scoop or take as much as you want and it's just weighed per pound. So we got a pound of Sour Punch straws because it's like two bucks for a pound. How can you say no to that? Come on. And then we also got like, they're pretty much the same thing as like greenies, like doggy dental sticks. And Juno has bad breath. So with all the love in my heart, I needed to get her some of these for her breath because she's a dog and it's okay. She doesn't know. So we'll just help her out a little bit. But anyway, so that is all for this. And I think this is pretty successful. I feel like we do like a shopping trip for like meals and then for just staples and then for like fill-ins. And this one was kind of like all of the above. We needed some just pantry staples. We needed a bunch of lunch stuff. So that's why a lot of it was just like lunch foods and some breakfasts. Um, just because I eat eggs like every single morning for breakfast and sometimes we gotta mix it up and we have like nothing for lunch except for like quesadillas. So now we actually have lunch and breakfast foods and I'm excited to go restock the pantry and try to figure out how to fit everything into our teeny little freezer. So wish me luck on that. Alrighty guys, we are closing down for the night. I'm wiped. That took me forever to put everything away. I had to like rearrange the whole freezer and move around things in the pantry, but that is not it's something full. I will complain about. Yeah. We're very grateful that we're able to do that. So yeah, it's amazing, but you guys are amazing. We love you all so much. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment below, introduce yourself. If you're not, we still want to hear how you're doing. How's your day? What's going on? Anything new? Anything exciting? Yes, we go through and read all your guys' comments, so we appreciate all of them. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We love you guys. Bye! Bye.